and welcome to Ross A. Bespoke Butler School. Today I'm going to ask one question. It's about this. Can a butler have a beard? Now some of you think, well that's obvious. But some of you will be thinking that's obvious thinking yes. Some of you will be thinking that's obvious thinking no. Uh, the thing that prompted me to make this video was um, uh, recently on LinkedIn, um, one of my contacts, they, they saw I was sporting this, this, this lockdown beard, which I'll go into in a second, um, and they said, oh, a beard is not appropriate for your station as a butler. And I'd like to sort of go in and we can examine how true that is. Now, to be honest, I mean, I don't actually normally have a beard. I'm, I'm normally clean shaven and to be honest when I go back to working my normal nine, well I don't never work nine to five, but my normal sort of working life, I, I will shave it off again. Um, those of you who are regular viewers will know that the reason that I have this beard is because I like a particular brand of um, razor blade and as I said I've mentioned quite a few times in previous videos, they're not it's not been delivered recently for whatever reason, so I've remained with the beard. Of course there are other options, other things I could have done to, to get the beard shaved, but I wasn't too worried about it because to be honest I'm in isolation in my own home and other than you lot looking at me through the videos there's uh, and my family who really don't mind, um, there's no one really to see it, so um, hence the beard. But it is funnily enough, a very valid question. It's a question that's been asked of me a surprising amount of times over the years. Now, first of all, let's look at it from its most sort of fundamental um, thing. Now, is it appropriate for someone to choose someone for a job based on the way they look? You know, and right now we're talking about a beard and you know that's not too serious to turn around to someone and say um, I would rather have a butler without a beard can you shave your beard of course it is the the tip of a much more worrying iceberg because that's one thing but then maybe someone saying I don't think a woman should be a butler maybe someone saying I don't think someone who's, you know, black, Indian, Asian, whatever, should be a butler. Now, I think you'll all agree with me that, that that's not okay. That's not reasonable to say that. It's something that, of course, does get said. Um, not openly, I'm glad to say. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, I... I I wouldn't be being honest if I said that that doesn't happen. Uh, personally, I would never entertain that as a reason for someone not getting a job. Uh, I think that that's totally unreasonable, but there's plenty of others who don't. But right now, I mean, I don't want to get too um, caught up in that because that's such a big issue. And of course, the law of the land um, um, and the law of most lands around the world, of course, as a butler, we're always talking internationally. We're not just talking about, you know, I live in Britain, but out there you live in various different countries, most of whom have a similar laws to, to ours. But, you know, you know we, could, we could look at that and let's go back to beards, because beards is a lot simpler. Now, if you go back maybe 50, 100 years, when the king had a beard, um, I think you'd see a big shift in um, public opinion as to whether having a beard is smart. Um, I'm pretty sure most people sort of emulating the, the beard of the king um, would be considered smart. Right now, of course, beards are fairly fashionable, especially amongst the sort of... Uh, um, we should call it the hipster community, um, and you know they they've become again very popular. So does that mean because they're popular 
that, and fashionable that they're okay for butlers. I'm leaving you to sort of make up your own mind about that. But what I would say is it has to be appropriate for the job that you're doing. And the way you wear your beard has to be appropriate for the job you're doing. And this is what I say to my staff. There's several um, gentlemen in my team with beards or moustaches. They keep their beards immaculate. Mine's not looking immaculate right now because it's just sort of growing in and it's not, I've not been able to go to a barber or anything to get it nicely trimmed. So it's a bit scrabby. But the gentlemen who work for me um, have very nicely manicured beards. Um, trimmed beards. Um, another gentleman has a very fat fetching handlebar moustache um, and I would almost defy someone to say um, that they didn't look smart, especially the, the handlebar moustache. Uh, Philippe with his moustache, I mean that takes a, a lot of work to uh, maintain so it um, actually implies a particularly high level of personal hygiene because someone to take that much care implies a very high level of hygiene. Um, it, it is amazing how this is a reoccurring theme. A couple of years ago, um, no not even that, one year ago, I put some videos of some young gentlemen doing my butler school. This was um, um, a free butler school that I did. It's something that I try and do regularly. I couldn't do it this year because it sort of coincided unfortunately with the beginning of the pandemic. But um, several of the, the young gentlemen within that had beards. And the amount of comments on LinkedIn especially of people saying well, if they want to be a butler, first thing they need to do is shave off that beard. People weren't saying the first thing they need to do is learn how to lay a table. They weren't saying the first thing they need to do is, um, you know, learn to, well, do the millions of things a butler needs to learn how to do. There's no point me sitting here telling you all the things you need to know. There's a video where I've already done that. But, straight away, people were saying, well, that's not hygienic for them to have a beard. Interesting point of view, I would say, especially as I remember one of the videos, um, uh, the chap Stephen was actually cleaning a toilet in the video. Because we do that in our butler school. Our butler school is not a show pony butler school. Our butler school is hard graft. If you come to the, uh, the Ross Ever Spoke Butler School, we don't just walk around with trays. Um, and we, 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 we tend not to play the games like having people throw stuff at you while you're carrying a tray and... To be honest, I try and keep it a bit more uh, hard graph, shall we say. Um, you know, I will watch them and advise them on how to clean a toilet. Because, to be honest, if your principal's toilet is dirty and you're the butler and you're the only one in the house, I can tell you something for sure. You're cleaning that, butler, you're cleaning that toilet and you better do a darn good job of it as well. Um, but again, that's a, that's a different video, but speaking of it, so some people think beards are unhygienic. Is there any truth to that? Personally, uh, I don't think so, because assuming that you wash every day, and assuming that you're washing your beard with, um, uh, you know, soap, just like someone would wash their face, I can't really see how there's a big difference, you know, hair is fine, you know, otherwise by that logic, really, we should all shave off all of our hair, our, our hair, our eyebrows, say for ladies, um, I'm not going to do that, I mean, you might, but I, I'm not going to. Um, but anyway, so I'm not actually really coming to a yes, no answer at the end, I'm coming to the end of this video now, and I'll be honest, I've not really answered the question. Maybe all of you can answer the question and tell me what you think. Is it okay? Now, one last thought that I will leave you with is, of course, there's butlers and there's butlers. Most of the time, most of my career, I've been a butler looking after 
you know, as the as the expression is, ultra high net worth clients. They tend to most of them have been young, cool, um, intelligent. They've not wanted me in a morning suit. They've not even wanted me in a suit, dressed more like I am today. In fact, that was in my head when I dressed for this video. Just something like a linen suit, uh, or just just a shirt. You know, no tie. That's the protocol. And obviously, under those circumstances, your general appearance is much more casual. If you are a butler working in a very formal residence, where you are wearing a morning suit, you know, for breakfast and lunch, you're changing to your white tie to serve the dinner, for a start, that means you're um, very rare. There's very few of those left. They do exist, but there's very, very few. Um, and the way you carry yourself and hold yourself will be different from the way that a modern butler does the same. Both jobs take equal amount of skill. No doubt about that, but different skills. And this probably leads into what I think my next video should be actually. What's the difference between a modern butler and a traditional butler? I originally trained as a traditional butler. Morning suit, white tie, formal dinners, lords and ladies, that's how I trained. But I transitioned to being a modern butler. Now with my butler school, I do my best to treat, teach both sides. Probably more heavily uh, looking at the modern butler because of course that's where most jobs are. Most jobs are for modern butlers. Probably one in 10 is a traditional butler. So I'll look at that in a future video. Um, but I really, I want to see people's reaction to this one. I, I just desperate to hear what people think. You know, it's a simple, simple question, but without a simple answer. Can butlers have beards? Um, funnily enough, my razor blades did actually come in my Asda delivery about an hour ago. Um, so the next video you see me in, I will not have a beard unless all of you really like my beard if I get if I get 50 people um, telling me that they like the beard then the beard staying for the rest of the videos I don't, that's not gonna happen but if it does happen I tell you what, I will do my facial this is lockdown so I don't mind I'll do my facial my facial hair can be at your your decision I'll go for a handlebar moustache we could have um, you know, mutton chops, we can have uh, sideburns, maybe not, but yeah, please don't, don't vote for that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, a bit of fun. You tell me how you think I should have it. So that's me signing off. This, is, this has been a bit of a, uh, I admit, a real random sort of uh, divergence for me, but I'll be putting out one of the more normal butler schools very soon. Um, in fact, I've got to do a lovely little, I might even do it for tomorrow, a uh, lovely little thing on serving, traditional serving of a brandy, which I think you will enjoy. It's a very traditional skill. I think you'll enjoy that. And then probably shoe cleaning after that. So thank you very much. Been a pleasure as always. And I'll catch up with you all soon. Thanks very much. So from the beard and from me, 